Ouch, pulled that. Ow! 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 They're everywhere. All right, guys, so a lot of you have asked, this is our 66 acre property. And what it is, it is a, it is several, um, you know, older duplex communities that are all in the same area. And it's uh, 66 acres worth, and it's hard to see through the dash. Um, but this is the place. We've never like filmed it. They don't do irrigation out here. They don't do fertilization out here. Um, it's uh, just kind of a mow, blow, and go situation. They don't have like a leaf program out here or anything like that. Um, those Agnuses are like going crazy right there. But I mean, it's just an, it's an asinine amount of work, man. It really is. Um, so you'll see, uh, we have a bunch of fields like this everywhere. Um, it's just a lot of stuff. And then we'll have some spots where, um, you know, they have nicer grass, like right here, they'll have St. Augustine grass where um, people that own their units um, have like installed their own irrigation. And so they have nice grass. Um, so, you know, and then you'll have places right across from there that, you know, that have really, uh, you know, that just have bahia, you know what I mean? And just weeds, and that's just kind of their thing. But like I said, then you jump over here, they got really nice grass there. Um, so it's a, it's a unique place because there's a lot of like, so over here on this side, there'll be a bunch of spots that are like in between the buildings in the back and it gets really wet. Um, we have to 36, the back of every single yard needs a 36 inch mower um, in it. And it can get, uh, man, it can just get real crazy. Move buddies move they have such an they have such an attitude did y'all hear him he's like Meh. geese down here in florida just have like an attitude and they'll come after you too sometimes they don't care all right so it looks like here's some uh some tree damage looks like something like that tree fell apart um it's just stuff like that out here all of the time man like constantly all of all of the time there's stuff that just falls down <clears throat> everywhere. Um, but uh, yeah, this is it. Yeah, so the guys are at the gas station right now. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for them to get there. Here, I can't do anything else. I'm, I'm actually gonna go pull, I'm gonna go pull all that debris right there. So when we have large amounts of debris like this for as big as the property is, we obviously can't take it, it's too much. So we um, pile it and stack it up right next to their driveways and then the city will pick it up. Um, so the way that Jacksonville works down here is if a contractor puts debris um, out on the road or whatever, then they just won't pick it up because a contractor moved it. So we have to set it by the driveway um, to make it look like the customer did. I think it's, it's ridiculous, but it is what it is. There's trees down over there. There's trees down everywhere. I'm not gonna lie, this place, um, this place has come a long way. We took it over. Um, about seven months ago and it was you dude it was the most unbelievable place in 13 years that i've ever seen um the company that was doing it big company but they would send like three or four people out here to do this property over two days so and that's too much man this thing this thing is like four neighborhoods put together it's huge um it's the biggest property we've ever done um but it's really cool though because when when um, we got asked to take a look at it and to take it on, um, you know, it was, um, it's like, man, 66 acres, that's, that's huge. I drove out here and then, it's the, kind of the first property I drove out here and your brain just went bleh. Um, but, you know, I'm all about jumping into stuff and trying to do it without hurting your name or anything. But, you know, I told him, I was like, hey, I'd like to try it. You know, if it ends up being too much, then I'll let you know it's too much, but, um, Nothing's ever, I don't really feel like anything's too much for me personally. Like I like the challenge of trying to tackle something. So 
we got we got it down um, but you know the thing the pain is is that they have to unlock their gates because everybody keeps their gates locked so we get a lot of complaints here because people will tell the property manager they didn't cut my backyard again but then it's like no we went there and it was locked and it's like all right can you go back they're gonna unlock it we go back and it's still locked you know what i mean so we deal with that a lot that's probably the biggest pain in the butt out here is is just that so we cut it in half we do the front half on thursday we do the back half on friday um, this summer was really horrible with rain again like last summer was so I'm asking if they can um, If they can switch days to Wednesday and Thursday instead of Thursday and Friday that way if it rains We have that extra day to try to get in here to make it up because this place gets so thick so fast the last thing you want to do Woo is try to cut this place when it's two weeks thick. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyways, we'll try to get as much uh, much filmed out here it's really thick man so because we didn't cut last week um so we're going to cut this week we got a lot of work to do a lot of things kind of look scrappy out here a lot of it looks a lot of it looks good and a lot looks scrappy and like i said there's no irrigation they don't do you know fertilization out here none of that stuff so it's just a mow blow and go um, but we try to make it look you know as good as we can and that's that all right Like I was saying, this property can just be really difficult um, because you just have so many types of grasses and weeded areas. You're constantly having to change the deck. I mean, constantly changing the deck height. Um, and it's just really tough on the mower because you'll be hitting um, a certain type of grass and then it just explodes into a bunch of dense weeds or a different type of grass kind of throughout the property. Um, so that's how, that's how this whole place is. So like what we just mowed, like what we just mowed, this is like amazingly St. Augustine grass. It was super thick, so it hasn't been cut um, in a couple weeks. Really thick, um, and then you'll jump over, and then here it's just all weeds. Um, across the street over there, it's just all bahia. 
Um, and then over there it's St. Augustine grass. Um, so it's just a lot of different variations of a lot of different things. Hey Barnes, you like that Husqvarna baby? Love it. Woo! Yeah. What's your favorite thing about it? Stuff. Yeah, just the power. Power, yeah. A little heavy, but it's power. Yeah, definitely, definitely knock out some stuff. Definitely power. It looks good on you. Thank you.
guys, I want to show you one of these backyards. So I'm finished mowing. Um, he's he's still working on he's still working on um, mowing backyards. Okay, so every once in a while we get a call um, to come into the backyard that somebody has not opened, and this guy has not opened in this backyard in about five months. So I'm going to show you this backyard. This is man. This is like some of what we deal with on this property. This is like a very difficult property. And this is probably why they keep the gate locked. I don't know how how people even do this, but like look at this. This is this is ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. So I've actually had maybe seven or eight people complain that we don't go in their backyards. Um, and so today while I'm out here, those exact same people what they're not realizing is their gates are unlocked from the inside, but we can't get them from the outside because like the, a lot of these gates are just really old. So, and then they're tight on the side. We can't reach our hand through there and undo the latch, you know? Um, so of course the property manager's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And we keep telling them it's locked. And then the clients are arguing saying it's not locked, but it's just, we can't get into it because we can't access it. So they're going to tell them to put, put little pull strings on the top so we can get it. But this particular guy, um, has not opened his gate for months so they're just like you know don't worry about it but here's why i do worry about it because now look at this mess that we got to clean up i have to clean this up man and it ain't right it ain't cool but anyways i got the echo 2620 barnes will not give me the husqvarna 535 lst the new one he won't give it to me so i'm gonna jump back here and see what i can do all right guys, so I actually just called the property manager to tell them about this place and the person moved out. And that's why the gates finally opened. Wow. So let's see, I have to, I pulled this bike out. Um, this bike is in the grass. Um, there's another bike in the grass or something else in there. I hope there's no rattlesnakes or anything. That would suck. Yeah, this is one of the worst yards I have ever, ever, ever ever had to deal with there's a big hole there god knows what's freaking underneath there but yeah they just left this place abandoned man so yeah we're gonna clean this up with a weed eater i guess This is crazy. This is crazy. Alright snakes, get ready to run. Holy crap, that's miserable. Whew. Whoa, I have been stabbed. Oh, spiders everywhere, spiders coming out. I probably got spiders all over me. Yeah, I have got stickers all over me, all over me, everywhere. Down my legs, ouch, there's some. Ouch, boy. 
I'll tell you what. Ouch. Woo. Ouch. Let me pull that. Ow. 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 They're everywhere. So you guys remember, um, if you remember, if you watched my Instagram, then you saw that I got these uh, these tires right here. These are D Stone, like D's, um, D Stone. A um, couple of guys said that they didn't really care for them, you know, but um, I actually really like them. Um, I think they're working out really good so far, and you know, it's definitely got a big blockier all-terrain kind of um, kind of pattern. And I was kind of worried about turning on grass, but I can tell you something, man. We have been really wet with the amount of rain that we have gotten, and these are really easy on the turf. Um, I'm gonna get these again. Uh, the Carlisles are awesome. They definitely have more grip for like hills and stuff, uh, but I'll get to that. Um, but as far as you turning on the grass, I actually notice less slipping from this and less tearing um, mowing the same way that I normally mow. So I really like these a lot. We're gonna do these again, so I like them. Um, so when I'm on hills, they actually end up doing really good on the hills. I didn't have any issues on hills with them whatsoever. Um, we go on some pretty steep, you know, some pretty, pretty steep stuff. We have um, a few things that are kind of 30 to 45 degree um, angles when we're mowing. And these did really, really well. Um, I do got to show you something. So this is, this is crap. So you see that pulley? right there let's get them let's get it from the outside let's see let's get this pulley this pulley is finished right here hold on sorry guys anyways let me zoom up let me get all up in there that pulley is finished finished see it see if i should lighten this up um, but yep that pulley is finished guys so I was like, what the heck is that rattling crazy noise? Um, but yep, it is finished. I mean, I got, I was able to get the job done, um, but I have to buy a brand new bread. I've never had to replace one of these. I'll be honest with you, man. You guys tell me what you think, but I'm not gonna say that I don't like the Skag, okay? I do like the Skag, but I've had a lot of issues with the Skag. Some of it we could have did a better job, like the, the deck leveling system, you know, like the deck and all that stuff, blah, 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 blah. Even though the, you know, grease fitting got, you know, kind of, you know, clogged up. I've never had that happen before on any mower in 13 years. I've never seen it happen. And a lot of people said they had the same thing happen. So it can't just be, you know, user error. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something else that's going on there. A bunch of SCAG people have had the same issue. I've never had that on my X marks, my Gravely's, my, um, um, remember um oh my god well, i'm the lesco mowers i've never had that issue let me show you guys let me show you what this thing does let me show you let me show you something yeah all right is toast oh yeah all right so anyways um, I got all the mowing done this is um, this is side one I got the mowing done by like about 145 and that was from 9 o'clock to 145 straight mowing um, and that's how long it took to get this side mowed um, it's 66 acres like I said we split it up uh, we split it up at that one road right there um, so what we do is we just take the um, we just take the other half and um, put it on Fridays and uh, we do one half of Thursday, one half, second half Friday. Um, but anyways, uh, there's just so much weed eating, man. It's like stuff like this right here. Hold on, let me.
like that right there where the fence line cuts in it's like that all over the place it's like that everywhere every single where it's like that so and there's all these um, back areas in between the units in between the buildings it's it's just crazy it's like the amount of weed eating that needs to get done here is the most i've ever seen on a property uh, but it'll be between that and it'll go way back and it'll be it'll go like a thousand feet down and then it'll just have like a whole bunch of spots that are look like natural areas but they're not they're part of the association so you got to get in there and weed eat it all but yeah it's crazy though man but you know it's um it's it's like a good paycheck so and they're really laid back the property management company is really awesome they're laid back so it's kind of a no-brainer thing you know it's it's not our favorite property by any means because the amount of stuff that's here um, there would be kind of a lot of obstacles that we got to deal with a lot of times um, but it's a good solid account by a good property management company that we do a couple properties for um, it's just a difficult property and it's a mutual thing it's hard for them to find somebody to do this property and stay here um, so it's a it's a mutual thing for us you know we want to be here and it's hard and they want us to be here because we want to be here so if you follow what I'm saying I'm on the way home I'm in the truck I'm on the way home um, it was a good day today a little short-handed but the guys are doing a really good job those guys rock I did something to my foot I gotta go get it looked at I'm being a baby John kept me up all night man so um, yeah so what I want I just want to hit on the skag thing so I, I that's I mean that's a wearable thing man and it's gonna wear and it's gonna happen you know what I'm saying but I'm just gonna compare so like my hustler I had hydros leak a couple of times um, and the seat uh, what do you call it the seat um, bring this down some the seat sensor is kind of jacked up uh, but overall man you know it's it's run pretty good um, but anyway, so it's not dog in the skag or anything by any means whatsoever because everything, every mower has its issues. I have had a lot of issues with that skag. Hydro's blowing out to like just, just all kinds of things. The little, the overdrive shifter, you know, breaking um, from not even being used, just like breaking, sitting there, um, you know, just other stuff. There's been other stuff, fans, um, all that. So, um, take it with a grain of salt it, it's it's gonna happen to everything but I I do like the mower though I really do like it I like it when it's running you know what I'm saying like I like it when it's running good for sure um, and it typically does so uh, but you guys have seen throughout like the last year and a half how many times um, it's been down and in the shop and, and all that stuff but you know we've, we've got faith in it um, it'll keep working can't wait to get the new gravely um, pro stance that's coming out in November the new version cannot wait for that oh my god oh my god oh my god it's faster you know what I'm saying it um, but one thing that's interesting though it does have the um, the new uh, the Kawasaki EFI and I know that um, Kawasaki's having issues with their EFI engines already um, leaking gas I think there's a recall or something on it uh, which can cause like a fire um, but unfortunately, they don't put uh, Kohler EFIs on there. I think, you know, Kohler's pretty much, they pretty much run the EFI game when it comes to motors. So I'm sure Kawasaki will get it together um, eventually. Um, but those laser edge blades, so it's all about the combination, right? It's the deck, it's the mower, it's the engine, um, and, you know, it's the type of blades. You always see, oh, this gag doesn't cut good. This gag does cut good. This gravely does, it doesn't. This Ferris does, it doesn't. But I, you know, it's it's definitely a um, it's a combination of everything. Well, your particular skag, what engine do you have on it? What kind of blades do you have on it? What grass are you mowing with it, man? Man? So this combination with this 35 horsepower Kohler EFI, dude, that 33, I mowed from about 840 to almost two o'clock non-stop and I barely busted half a tank of gas. Dude, I'd never get that on a carbureted engine. But with that 35 horsepower Kohler, that uh, velocity deck, and that uh, that set of uh, laser edge blades, man, dude, it's like, with, there was some thick grass, dude, it's just been two weeks since we mowed it. There was stuff that I was just like, oh, I'm gonna have to go super slow through this because it was so thick. Plowed it right through, sucker. 
Um, I love when that happens. And like I said, it is different when you get a mulch kit. When you get a mulch kit, it changes the it changes the physics, the dynamics of everything. It changes the mechanics of everything when you have a mulch kit. Um, you know, but that's that's why I tell everybody. I've told all the manufacturers take into consideration when you give options for a motor on a mower to offer what you think might be overkill because it's not. A 60 inch mower with 25 horsepower is not enough when you are um, using a mulch kit down here in Florida, it's not enough. I would love to see a 35 horsepower EFI engine on a 60 inch stand up mower. You know what I'm saying? That's the bomb. That's what I'm saying. Maybe there is one, I don't know, I haven't seen it. Bunch of crap coming out, all new stuff. Anyways, I'm on the way home guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, just watch out for some GIE stuff we're going to talk about. And uh, God, I think I'm gonna shut up. I'm done, peace out.